What's going on everyone? It's time for another horror film review. Today we're actually going to go back to like the 80s and talk about a weird 80s film called Primal Rage. It's released sometime in 1988 and it was directed by Viterio Rambaldi. I might have butchered that name, but yeah. He also did films like The Brent, The Breton of the Soul, Decoy, Nightmare Beach, and Yo Rod Un Arico Diablo Spazio. Yeah. So Primal Rage is an 80s, like, schlock type film. Uh, it's basically a group of young teens are um, somewhat animal activists and they break into a lab that unleashes a monkey that actually holds a rage virus. So a virus that makes people go mad and almost like super strong zombie-ish type. Even though they're not really dead, it just takes over and makes them really corpsey looking and stuff. And uh yeah, so they unleash this virus and then some of them slowly start getting it and going mad and terrorizing the small town that they live in. And uh yeah, so and you can guess all the carnage and stuff that happens after that. Um yeah. So this film is uh, pretty entertaining. It's pretty uh, uh, schlocky. It's very uh, unintentionally funny. I don't think they purposely made it like that, but it ended up being pretty funny. Um, yeah, the special effects and stuff in this are pretty well done. It, like the special effects makeup for like when they get like the virus and they become like corpsey looking and stuff look pretty cool. And that the acting's hit and miss though in this, and uh, yeah, and uh, it was pretty generic to be honest it's pretty standard for this time period of the, well for the 80s time period how this uh one turned out it looks pretty no different than chud or those type of movies and things like that it was pretty uh it's hard to differentiate from it besides the monkey aspect of this film um it does have some amusing elements and stuff but for the most part it's actually pretty tame uh it takes a little bit for it to get going and but once it gets going it gets pretty ridiculous and wild um and overall it's not the best though uh for what it is i like uh, a lot of um a lot of the people who don't even realize they have the rage virus and stuff and then they slow like they're saying they're sick or something and then you see it actually like so them slowly morph into this thing and uh it looked pretty cool but uh it has good aspects and bad aspects though but for the most part i didn't really find this super entertaining like there's some amusing parts and it don't get me wrong but for the most part it's you're pretty much a zombie movie uh mixed with like a little bit of teen comedy which was okay and uh Overall, it's just meh. Like, the acting's not the greatest in it. The cinematography and stuff's, like, standard for this time period. It was okay. And, uh, yeah, overall, it not, doesn't really stand out. Nothing really stands out about this film. It was just an okay uh, movie to waste an hour and a half. <laughs> if you had an hour and a half to spare, it's, like, watchable. But it's not, like you have to go out and see this or anything like that. It's uh, a good little popcorn flick, but nothing really to grab onto or anything like that. Like it has some cool makeup effects and all, but for the most part, it was pretty bland. So, but I do see where a lot of some films probably got some inspiration from like 28 days later where the monkey uh, carries the zombie virus. This one, uh, the monkeys carries the rage virus, which is similar and stuff. Well, there's some similarities like that you can find in this film, but for the most part, um, it wasn't that good. I actually clicked found this on Shutter. I th actually thought it was going to be that movie Kumba or whatever, the one where the monkey goes mad and kills a whole pile of people, but nope, this is totally different. Uh, but yeah, and the poster looked pretty cool, but uh, for what it is, it was okay. It was your standard 80s schlock. So, but uh, for the most part, I wouldn't really recommend it. So. Yeah, uh, but if you do want to check it out, I'll either find the whole movies where you can watch it for free and link it down below, or if not, I'll uh, link the trailer down below so you can check that out. But also, make sure you check out my Instagram. That's linked down below. That's where I always post clips of films I'm going to be in the future. All my stories, you have the film time, I understand. So, I'm filming that text, so you're aware of it. Also, my letterbox down below, Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first start rating after watching the films. And uh, my Twitter is down below, Derek underscore reviews underscore Derek. So, yeah. Follow me on those platforms, stay in the channel. Also, if you're on Shutter, make sure you look out for 
Derek Pages and No Spaces. That's me. I always post a skull rating and a comment right after watching the films on there. So look out for those if you're on Shutter. Uh, but also, uh, yeah, make sure you like this video, share some more people where of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. If you have any films or film franchise in any genre and on any streaming service, I want to hear my opinions on it in the future. Comment those down below. I'll try my to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully, you find something weird, obscure, and odd that you probably never thought of checking out together, somewhere like this. Also, so you hear my opinions of popular films, classic films, and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because I'm actually going to talk about the Shrek movie I said I was going to do in the last video, but uh, I ended up watching this first. So, but we're going to check out Shark Waters. It's been a while since I watched a shark movie, so we'll talk about that in the next one. So, but in the meantime, watch out for all those crazy monkeys spreading all these diseases around and, uh, Maybe the next pandemic will be a rage virus, make it a little more interesting. But uh, yeah, make sure you uh, tune in for the next one. And yeah, cheers.